Let's do this. Kowski. B cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. No inconvenience. We're on it, Captain. My duty. I swear the more bent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Can I talk to anybody a else? Romantic type like you, Cole. I don't believe a word of it. This is go. Want to make homicide? You know you've got it made if you can get to that desk. I'm not in homicide yet, then. That price is outrageous. My wife is so dumb. She scares the orange juice. I think the case used to get better and better as I got along. So this is the car. Now let me do some driving. I'm kind of enjoying it now. Is he coming? Okay. Location. Stolen vehicle call. I'm on it. Behind us. No. Can we try to get there in one piece? I'm trying. <laughs> Dahlia, that was a famous murder, wasn't it? Any well, I wonder if that'll be one of the cases. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Oh, there he got him, somebody. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having to death. Strewn all over the front page. Okay, this far away. Okay, I lost control. Look out. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> when I was straining my headphones there and I lost uh, concentration. Left. Here we are. Somewhere down this way. Having ice creams. Okay, got ya. Six West Second Street, twelve twenty nine PM. That's the car call. Just pulling out of the drive. Get it. Oh no. Another police chase. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. Don't kill him. Okay. I'm just gonna follow. I'm gonna follow nice and gently here. No. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Oh. Oh no. Let's hit him from the back a little bit. No, 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 oh, back, back, okay, reverse, I think I messed this up, oh, uh, no, okay, let's do it again, I need to do some nice tight turns, Can you go, maybe if I can cut him off from here. Nope. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. I'm trying to. 
I'm catching up. I'm cat. Got him. Got him. A couple miles over the speed limit. Get breaks out of the car now. Nice one. That was good. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rear view mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. I don't know why I do. What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car and I've got the paperwork to prove it. I can't see this. Chris, your name's Chris? No, Cliff. Whatever. We'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Coombs? I sign off my name on legal ownership certificates. Sign my name, uh, Coombs Auto. Blah, 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 valid, blah, blah, blah. What else have we got in here? Name, Matthew? Hmm. $2,400. It's a cheap car. Well, cheap, probably expensive that time. All right, I'll take it. Whatever, it's mine. So we got stolen. Vehicle reported a stolen. Motive for flight. A oh, question. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. Telling the truth. And the ownership papers. From the same place. Is this a clue? This is a forgery. It's top notch. This will need to be traced. Any names on here? I'm looking for names. Just his name, Cliff. Uh, motive for flight. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. Lying bastard. Two. You better give us something, Cliff. Or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because, because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. So we'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Vehicle purchase details. I'm so subject. Oh, he's not freaking out. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Coombs? I'm a Kuma. <laughs> I'm cooming. <laughs> Um, truth? He's telling the truth. Yeah. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. I got all questions right. You, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Hmm. Vegas possessions as evidence. Smoke some of that reefer. <laughs> Wacky the backy. You know who my father is. We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Let's get a hot dog. What is it? Cold soda. Can I get one? Let's hot dogs and sodas. Nice. I can't have one. Never mind. Let's just go. Mm, should I drive? Should I not drive? Let's drive. Now I'm getting there now. Man, this guy's slow. What am I doing? Stolen feet. Uh, okay. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. So it's location? Oh, oh, no. Pick up some speed. see some kid who's basically you five years ago and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. <laughs> spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism. I think I'm being accused of racism, man. please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? Yes. No, no. I feel much better. We'll shake down the car dealer and this take way? there. Can I go? Oh no 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 no! In which case we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake and be on our way. See, I knew you weren't finished. Yes, 
Man, stop running! Why is he running? Let's end up. Who's gonna run him over? Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. You do that for me? Sure. Straight on. Take the next left. Left. And here somewhere. Here? Yeah? Like going. Okay, let's just go around the corner. Here we are. Immediate delivery rental sixty nine per month. I don't know. Not another step. I have got a view of century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. I think I've seen this actor somewhere. I can recognize the voice and his facial features. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. He's a Kuma. You're looking to trade in a black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. Mm. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have yeah. a sale? It's in my office. I remember I'll starting with a K. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit funny. That's a joke too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. <laughs> Let's go in. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there too. I think it's Stalin. This guy's up to some bullshit. Let's just go for this one. Okay. Name Jean Archer. Archer. 146 North Fremont Avenue. So, was the car stolen or sold? Okay. Jean Archer, got another name there. Comes oh, for eleven. Cliff and signed. What am I looking at? Purchase receipt was legit at least. Okay, don't seem uh, any problems here, but that's it. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas, shoot. Details of transaction, description of suspect. Let's go details of transaction. Let's have a look. What is he doing? Might be a little freaky around the eyes. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Hmm. Just bit suspicious. Just got to. You need to give us something, Coombs, if you don't want to be implicated in this. Yap, yap, yap. Son, your problem is that your gums keep flapping, but you do no listening. Okay. Fuck that. <laughs> you described this Gene Archer. Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Okay, sound the truth. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the time. Uh, suspicious, suspicious transaction. Let's have a look what is he doing. Okay, looks okay. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. You bloody liar. Look at him. Uh, obviously a lie, but I'm just gonna go down. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? 
I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now, don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. What a piece of shit. <laughs> Mr. Harrison, go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. Fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. <laughs> you have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. Okay. Well, it kind of went well, and it kind of didn't go well, but whatever. Is there anything here? No. Back in the car. Did you I double check all the paperwork? Who's it made out to? Oh, let me check. Double check. Is that a clue? Gene Archer. Birdler. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit. No, sitting down now. Sit down. I think I missed something here. What the? How oh, is he always putting that down? So if I hold press down, something here, press to further investigate on an object. Try again. Nice. Who's this? Uh, Assignment section two. Assignment to do the Coombs. Richard Coombs. Yeah, this is the guy. Was this meant to be something else? Well, let's try the other one. I think I should have got that before I talked to him, but whatever. Let's go. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. Get on the horn and call it in. So, so I'm looking for a telephone. So, is that a telephone? Yes. Use it. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. I need an address on a marquee printing company. Marquee Printing Company, sure. Just a moment. Aliso Street, near San Pedro. Messages, please. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thank you. Gene Velasquez? Is that my guy from before? Don't know. Probably should take care of that, though. i let him drive this time. Can you drive to this one? Uh, where are we going? Let's go Central Police Station. I think that this case might have a connection to my previous case. I think that's where they're going. Because he was stealing cars. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone hmm. today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car sales. It doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line just to get the hell out of there. Lazy old fashioned soap. Back to the precinct. Detectives, Velasco is prepped and ready in two. 
another stolen car with legit paper. Thanks. You really think I'm gonna steal? Hey. I gave him the interview room. Hey, can you give me a hand? No. I got a hard case I need to break. Crummy bastard. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Oh, he doesn't have connections with my review case. It's some other guy. Never mind. Let's have a look at this. James the paper Belasco. Is enough, Belasco. But the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. In the back? Yeah, it's not even filled out. Everything's missing. Was he st sold a f stolen car or? I don't know. Observe the subject. It seems car. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Intuition. I'm gonna use intuition because I don't know what's going on. Uh, remove an answer. Doubt. So can I say he's lying? Because the information I already have. Mm. Let's go down. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. That should open his lips up. I, I want a deal. Keep talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Association with Archer. Uh, so suspect. Does the name Gene Archer mean anything to you? No. Nope. Gene Archer? I guess she was on the paperwork. Yeah, he's lying. Oh. Let's use one of my intuitions. Is this gonna remove one or the other? Careful use of which can lead to a breakthrough interviews. Chose a quick dance after using an intuition on this. So I don't think an intuition thing's gonna help me out. Let's look at my evidence. Receipt. Stolen auto carrier. Alright, let's just go that again. You want my partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. I don't know no Gene Archer. Okay, it's telling the truth, I guess. Auto theft racket. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state line? I don't know. I just deliver them. So is he getting stolen? Cut his doubt. He's lying, son of a bitch. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. <laughs> oh, <laughs> when I hey, okay, I hear you. <laughs> the cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. I'm not exactly sure what happened to Cliff. Did he buy a stolen car then? Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East Downtown. Mm. Mainly. So, so oh, he's lying again. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up. Now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're going to help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> Put you in for 20 years. <laughs> We're gonna oh. check if this information is worth anything. I didn't do it too badly. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. Okay, that was foul, really well. Went really okay. well. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. They're yes. all real. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. 
They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. Gordon Lightball, printing company. Let's go for it. Let's go this way? This way, this far as dude. What? Who am I following? Am I, I was following the wrong guy. I thought. No, let's just go this way. Hey, don't mind me. No, that's not the way. This is the way. Oh, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Let's go. She won't hang around. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Western Union. Industry Street. Western Union? Come on! We don't want to lose it, sir. Okay. Alright. I'm going. You know the broad isn't going to hang around, Phelps. Let's get to the Western let's Union go. office. Let's find her. This way? Oh. oh unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Let's go. No. Are you blind? <laughs> I'm I made it in time. And I, I was under pressure there. It'll only take a little while 